what is going on Sagittarius it is Scorpion Red Tarot I am back at it again one time for the one time yes indeed for the remix to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for August the 15th through the 31st shout out to all my babies for clicking this video sending that love light and that positivity on through thank you so much for all of your positive energy uh, if there's anyone at any point in time, if this video resonates with you, you can always support by clicking the like button. If you want to book a personal or private reading with me, my booking page has some technical error going on with it that I'm trying to fix right now. So just connect with me on Instagram or on Google Hangouts. If you have Google Hangouts, you can use my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com, or you can click my Instagram link, which is on the about page on my YouTube page all right so just click that about tab and you'll see the Instagram link you can also use my booking link just to check out the menu check out pricing that way when you contact me on Instagram or on Google Hangouts um, to link with me for the reading you already know what you're booking and the pricing and everything like that so again uh, my booking page is live where you can check the menu out but there's an issue where it's not showing any availability for me in regards to booking so just contact me directly on Instagram or on Google Hangouts and um, I'm accepting payment on Cash App or on um, PayPal um, also if you guys want to support at any time again like I said you always can support by clicking that like button and if the spirit moves you if you want to support a little bit more thank you again for everyone who's been sending support through the page because we do have a new deck here which is the music oracle deck which you guys will be seeing all right so thank you guys again for all of the support that you've been sending so if you would like to support um my paypal and my cash app and the amazon wish list is on the about page as well and thank you guys again for all the love light and the positivity and the support that you guys sent to my page i really do appreciate every last one of you just your presence is enough and i greatly appreciate you um so we're going to find out what's going on with my Sagittarius I'm real curious to see what's going on with you baby let's find out what's going on with you mid-month August all right so father God thank you so much for delivering us thank you so much for bringing us here today collectively thank you so much for this positive energy for this uplifted spirit for elevating us for being patient with us or for allowing us to be patient with ourselves as we grow through and move through these transitions in our life father god because we're moving forth steadfast towards our blessings thank you so much father please give us guidance for my sagittarius for mid august the 15th through the 31st thank you so much for Father, the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past, present, and future that make us strong and determined here today because you know we are fiery and we are red hot, Father God, and you know we're going towards our destination and living towards our goal and our purpose. Thank you so much again. Please give us guidance for my Sagittarius is mid-August, and thank you again for all of the positive reinforcements and the blessings. Thank you again, Father. All right. Let's get it pop in. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what it be. Sagittarius. I'm real curious to see what's going on, baby. What's going on, my Sagittarius? For mid-August. Thank you so much. Please give me guys. All right. She's been popping out with everybody. But what are you about? Oh, Barbara Streisand. Oh, it's oh, okay, Barbara. What you talking about, girl? Queen Barbara. It says fake it till you make it. It's easy to fool yourself, but it's hard to fool an audience. If you can't go right to the top, find somewhere else to go. Hmm. So I really feel. What she's saying there is like, even if you don't have it right now, still live your life as if you do have it, you know? And a lot of people can see through you if you don't believe it within yourself. You understand what I'm saying? It says it's easy to fool yourself. You could fool and you could trick yourself into believing something that you're not. You understand what I'm saying? But... 
How can I say this to make sense? I'm trying, hold on, I'm trying to say this to make sense. It's easy to fool yourself, meaning that you can look at something and picture yourself being somewhere. You understand what I'm saying? And you can trick yourself into that illusion more easier than you can actually make yourself believe and know and walk into, you know what I'm saying? Faking it till you make it. It's like, even though I don't have everything that I need, I'm walking every day in that image as if it is my existence where it's going to come to me because that's what I believe and that's what I know. You know what I'm saying? So even though I don't necessarily have it to that extent, I literally am that existence because I am walking it. So it's like, you know, and if you don't uphold to it and adhere to it to that level, you know, you could fool yourself and by having fake clothes on and fake jewelry and stuff like that. But I feel like it's the essence that has to be in your soul, in you. It's not about you putting on fancy stuff to make your outer appearance look a certain way to try to fool the public. Because regardless, if that's not, if you don't believe, even if you don't, have all of those elements right now if you don't really believe 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 and know that that is you that that is your path you know what i'm saying the audience is not that easy it's not that it's, it's hard to fool they will be able to see through you you know what i'm saying am i making any sense i hope that i'm making sense right here and it says if you can't go right to the top find somewhere else to go so don't kill yourself trying to be something that is really, truly not in your essence or something that you're not. You understand what I'm saying? Because you could fool yourself by keep trying to do something that is not true to your soul. Because if it's, if it's something true to your soul, it's not hard to believe. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because it's within the every essence, even if you don't have it all. Do you understand? Find something that it's naturally yours, you know what I'm saying? And it'll be built on brick by brick every day until you are literally flying in that image, you understand? Instead of trying to force yourself by putting on clothes, trying to hang around a certain a group of people, trying to be something that it just is not you. I hope that y'all got that. And then Nina Simone is saying, never trust cures from a system that made you sick. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. There is nothing more powerful than speaking truth to power. You understand? So, even if you... It's like we all trying to get the Grammy. We all trying to be Grammy nominated, Grammy award winning. Like, fuck. <laughs> a Grammy nominated, Grammy award winning. That's what we're trying to be. Do you understand what I'm saying? But at what cost? At what cost? Because at the end of the day, if you, if it's not in your destiny, if it's not truly in your past to be a Grammy award winning and you only <laughs> in that lane to always just be nominated, then maybe that's just not your path. You understand what I'm saying? Stop trying to fit in that role so much. You understand what I'm saying? Because never trust kills from systems that's already made you sick. This system already said this is only thing. This is as far as you're going to go right here. You understand? When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat it. You know what I'm saying? They don't love you enough to give you an award. Do you understand what I'm saying? They don't love you enough. To give you an award. If you can't go to the top. Find somewhere else to go. Find somewhere else to go. You know. You can only fake it. Till you make it to some. Up to some point. You understand what I'm saying. If it's not naturally within your path. Within your design of right. It ain't going to be. There's nothing more powerful than speaking truth to power. I hope that I'm making sense you guys. I hope that I am. Because I'm making sense to myself. I'm just hoping that it's coming out right. Anyway. Give me guidance. You meant to be an, a nominee. Uh, uh, not a, a nominee. But an award winner. But it might not be in that category. So you might just need to try a different category. Do you understand what I'm saying? I 
I keep seeing that she's seeing devil card or it's like some type of negative attachment. I hope that don't come out. Justice in reverse. I feel like hmm, the world, yeah, someone's not, someone's coming with an apology or offer for something where it's like, there's a comic debt. There's something, oh, there's something where someone did something wrong. And as you can see, you know, the judge of justice has their sword up. The sword is up knowledge, truth, you know, forthright knowledge, true judge of character. Whatever is being told here by these two people in front of the judge, it's not believable. It's not trustworthy. It's not something that can balance the Libra scale there. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is something that was done that is done to the point where it's something that's unforgivable unfor unforgivable unforgivable so access may be denied um wishes may not be granted certain people may be held in contempt of court you know what i'm saying I, I, uh, yes most definitely and then you got the world right here um Whatever was happened, like it says, never trust cures from the, the flame just went out. Never trust cures from systems that made you sick before. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. Whatever was ha whatever happened in the past was unforgivable. And the Sagittarius is moving forward, closing that chapter forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. I feel like this is a permanent ending. There is no forgiveness here. There's no forgiveness. As you can see with this five of wands in the reverse, this Sagittarius will not comp contemplate, uh, will not, is done contemplating, will not compromise, will not compete, will not argue, will not belittle their self to even muster up the energy. Only thing they're going to do is to tell you no and then get on out of my way because. This Sagittarius is moving and it's not in a place where they are willing to compromise or compete or do anything. As you can see, this is the death card here. All right. They got their Scorpio stinger out and they don't care who's in the way because they're moving forward. And if you <laughs> listen, you ever going to get down or you're going to lay down. Sagittarius is not playing. A lot of the, the foolishness, the playtime is over. Listen, playtime is over. Playtime is over. Tired of negotiation. Tired of arguing. Tired of the bullshit. Okay? What I say is goes. What I'm saying is no. I'm packing up. I'm moving. This chapter is closed. There's nothing more to say. No negotiated. No. Actually, I'm completely ending this. I'm selling all of the belongings. I'm selling the house. I'm taking whatever is left. And I'm moving on. And we're divorcing. So this is someone who's possibly divorcing. Because like I said, when love is no longer on the table. Look, you see how that sun is illuminated in the background? Look, say no more. Talk less. Look. <laughs> say less. Okay? Okay? Sagittarius is like, uh-uh. Say, say less. Say less. Ah, say less. Say less. I don't want to hear your crying. I don't want to hear your weep. I don't. Say less, please. And get out of my way. Mm -mm. Sagittarius did not come here to play today. Whatever was done is not forgiven. They do not have no remorse for you. They do not feel sorry. Listen. If you are in the background, whoever this is, that might be the cross watcher. I don't know if this is if the cross watcher, if this is your energy because the Sagittarius did this to you, or if this is the Sagittarius because you did this to the Sagittarius. Sagittarius does not care about you having remorse, feeling sorry, uh, you regretting the things that happened in the in the past. As you can see, <laughs> this person in the background is drowning. Sagittarius has lived in that remorse and that regret. 
long enough you know what i'm saying where they have to lick their own wounds they can't pay attention to you drowning in the back so if this is someone that is dealing with the sagittarius and they're coming to sagittarius with these sob stories like oh well, ever since i left things been fucked up and been dark clouds and you trying to like put that guilt trip on sagittarius it that was working for a long time okay but it's not working no more it's not working no more they got their stinger out they don't forgive you they don't care it, it's, I want to say like they damn near don't give a shit if you suffer because for a Sagittarius to walk away from something like this on this level like someone had to have to had to have done something that cut them deep I felt like they tried to fake it till they made it and it was easy to fool their self but it was harder to fool the audience you know what I'm saying everyone can see through Sagittarius that Shit wasn't happy at home with this this ten of um pinnacles in the reverse. Okay, I feel like Sagittarius with this ten of pinnacles in the reverse right there. You don't see no mother and the father. It's just like I feel like there was like an absent of like the parents. Like it was like no connection. It was it's just one parent there with the kids or with the dog or whatever it was it was really an empty home to begin with so i really feel like the sagittarius feels like they don't even want to be there no more they don't want no memories they don't want nothing you know they don't want anything and i want to say like there could have been a sagittarius because i see someone this lady is crying here and it's like uh there's a whole bunch of people laying here and I don't like saying stuff like that, but there could have been um, a passing of a, a family member or a child or something like that. And it might have been a termination of a, of a pregnancy or something like that, where like the Sagittarius felt like they had to do this or maybe due to some stress or the absentee of... Cause I don't, I don't see a connection with family here, like at all. I see a whole bunch of conflict and competition and arguing and stuff, but I don't see a connection of like a happy family. I see a mother crying, and I see a loss of a child. So I feel like somewhere in this relationship, either due to stress and anxiety, something happened that they couldn't forgive, or something, something. It's something that has to do with children. I, I feel like it couldn't be no more compromise. And this person is moving on permanently. The world is fixed. They're moving on for good. They don't care. It's no more sorrows. What is this? The five of hearts. This is a divine feminine card right here. Okay? Sagittarius been keeping on their poker face. But at the same time, you can see Sagittarius slowly glowing up just by... They're wearing their art on their shoulders. They're wearing their <laughs> blessings on their shoulders. It's something about whatever happened in this relationship. And I please, I feel so sorry if anyone did lose a child. Um, but whatever happened, it through that sadness, it illuminated and it helped the Sagittarius grow. And now the Sagittarius got their poker face on and they ready to play ball. Like, this is the Divine Feminine card right here. She got her poker face on with that Lady Gaga. With that solar plexus, you understand? She knows exactly what she needs to do. And she has that positive vibration and that positive energy flowing through her. Her heart, her mind, her body, her soul is open so deep to all of the positive aspects. It's like... Through the darkness, she's coming through this light triumphantly, you know. And she did try to fake it till she made it. But at the same time, it was so hard. Here go the Divine Masculine. Okay. Here go John Lennon. But she needed a man that's going to come to her pure. You see how he in that all white linen? She's ready and she's elevated herself and she's opened up herself where she's walking away from a commitment where I feel like she gave everything. 
and she killed off a, that part of who she was when she used to argue, where she used to fight and compete and battle and go tit for tat. And I feel like whatever the situation where she doesn't forgive or he doesn't forgive and they're changing their world, they're taking the world by storm, they're leaving everything behind. They're not compromising. They ain't even speaking. Like you might be blocked and they can com completely cut that cord. Sold the house, divorced, everything. So they can elevate themselves to the divine masculine, to the divine feminine, into the divine masculine level, to that principle where they can really connect with someone on that vibration and on that frequency. You know? You can only fake it till you make it, but so much that you got to understand, like I said, if it's, if that principle, if that path is in you, okay, if you can't go right to the top right here, find another way else to go. This person found another where else to go. Do you understand what I'm saying? This person closed that chapter and said, it's time for me to move the fuck on. It's time for me to move the fuck on. I can't do that anymore. I can't forget it. No, I got to go. I gotta go. I need my man to come to me in that all white linen. Pure. Pure heart, my body, and soul on my frequency. He got that soul. Listen, he know what he want and he know what he gotta do with his life too. He elevated too. All white linen. <laughs> like John Lennon. <laughs> Come on, Sag. I ain't even about to go no deep in that. I just seen the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And if you want me to clarify, if you want some chlorophycations, if you want some chlorophycations, we can go some chlorophycations. We can get some chlorophycations. Okay. Okay. But yes, like y'all most definitely elevated. And I love that. I'm most definitely loving that. This right here, the five of hearts represents femininity woman's thoughts freely things knitting sewing girly female sexuality intimacy tenderness holding hands physical displays of affection the right hand the right handed doing the right thing being right being truthful fair just desired opportunities proposals which bring happiness and success satisfying one's desires fulfilling a dream and i feel like the dream of this divine feminine is to have her poker face on and end this shit gracefully because i really do feel like this whoever this person was it was a lot of fighting and battling especially there's too many people in a love situation there shouldn't be four or five people sitting up here in this situation. It's too, it was too many people in this situation right here. Enough of that shit. A oh, goddamn enough of that shit. So she elevated, like like I said, she elevated herself to the to the point where she can receive. Okay, where she can receive. And this is the six of hearts. The six of hearts. A love relationship, a friendship, emotional security, gallantry, courage, faith, trust, compassion, emotional connection. Past life or a soul connection, the masculine energy, a male lover, a bachelor, an unmarried man, anything genuinely associated with a male gender, such as a toolbox, tie, facial hair, etc. Do you understand what I'm saying? You guys are ready to open up yourself to have a deep soul connection with someone, you know, on your frequency. Someone that you don't know, never seen a day in your life, but you meet this person and you feel like y'all known each other in their past life somewhere. So y'all picking up <laughs> somewhere new, you know? Give me guidance for my Sagittarius. Oh, mid-August. Come on now. He said, I, I, I faked it till I made it, but at the same time, I just had to go on a different route. If I couldn't win here, I'm going to win here. I'm going to win right here. I'm going to win where I'm supposed to win. Because, listen, either it's in you or it's not. And me being this divine, glorious fucking woman that I am or man that I am and me attracting and finding who I need to be with, that's in me. You understand what I'm saying? It's in me. The ring come on. Father God, can we talk about proposals? Can we talk about commitment? Can we talk about wish fulfillment being granted? Come on with the ring. 
with the ring, you're going to have to close it. You're going to have to close it and just realize, stop trying to forgive. And I really do feel over here with this justice card in reverse. I feel like y'all kept trying to force yourself to forgive something and allow someone and, 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 and compromise and allow something to be a part in your life to deepen your heart. You just couldn't put that poker face on no more. You understand what I'm saying? You was trying to fake it. But at the end of the day, it's easy to fool yourself. But it's hard to fool an audience. Everyone else on the outside world knew. You know what I'm saying? It, it was starting to become so obvious. What is this? The clock tower. This is you having to be objective. You know what I'm saying? About the situation. Having a value of your time and, and using your wisdom and thinking about the overall purpose and the principle of what you're doing and how valuable your time is. And that's one thing that you can't waste. You know, the clock also means time's up, separation. You know what I'm saying? That you've been enlightened, that, you know, <laughs> the bear, the bear. The bear means like, you see how this bear is like holding possession of this fish. You understand? I feel like it was time for you to finally let go of this person, this thing, this situation having such a strong hold on you and wasting so much of your time. Like it was time for this to end. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was like almost harboring you captive. You understand? Has so much of a stronghold on you. It was so much work that you had to put into this situation. Do you understand? Where it's like you almost felt captive. And your standards is, are different. You know? Time, that clock also represents that too. And you might have been dealing with a dog. And I'm looking at this as a dog, like a for real, for real dog. Like what you were dealing with was just a companion. You know what I'm saying? Was just like a loyal companion. You want the ring. You don't want a companion. You understand? You felt like you were trapped and your time was being held captive by and controlled by someone who just wants you to be their companion. And they want you to be loyal to them while they running around being a dog. You understand? While they running around. They want you to be there and be loyal to them for whenever they pop up and when they want to show up at your doorstep. And it could be because y'all have kids with each other, you know. It's, it, it could be because this family connection, there's this person try to hold you captive and try to monopolize your time to their benefit to whenever they wanted to show up. <laughs> After they finish sniffing around being a dog. Just because you got kids together. And you know. Uh uh. This is the number 13 as well. And then the jack of spades right here. On this child card. The jack of spades is like. That's a card of someone that's bullying someone. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's a bully. That someone is trying to control someone by force. With that bear. Trying to control someone by force, trying to make someone work something out or do something because that's what they want. Because it's going to benefit their outcome, you know. And you can't, you can't, you can't allow the innocence of your children to allow someone to kind of like victimize you and, and, and hold you captive. Like you can't go on and live your life while they're running around sleeping around doing whatever the fuck they want to do no because you see this five of wands up here this person wands represent you know the male private area that's like this you know like the magic stick you see four or five people down here on the floor Five of Wands represent competition. This is someone not willing to compete no more. Someone not willing to compromise no more. Someone not willing to fight no more. Someone not willing to go through that struggle no more. Listen, they're turning their self in. They're tired. Listen, do you, 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 you see all of the little demons and the little things in the back cloud in their mind? This person is completely went inwards. It's doing inner work right now. 
and it's completely blocking all of that bullshit, all that gossip, all of that foolishness, all of that mischief out of their life. They don't care what you have to say anymore. You know, they're tired of letting their emotions run deep because you're trying to use y'all's kids to control them. This person is not allowing that shit anymore. They don't care what you got to say about it no more. What is this? Clinging to the past. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. The five of cups. Clinging to the past. This person is rejecting the thoughts and the ideas of continuing to cling to the past. The four of cups. That's somebody that is rejecting an offer. Like something is being clouded over top of their head like almost by force like it's a forceful energy like like don't like because you're used to doing this this person is expecting them to continue to hold on to this perfect picture that they got planted in their mind about how things are supposed to be you know they're expecting them to hold on to this regret to this remorse to these feelings and to listen to their plight and everything like that i don't think so not this time this sagittarius how they turned their self in like that, they're, they have completely, completely blocked this shit out. They don't care anymore. Clinging on to the past emotionally is something that throughout this turn in their process that they realized was their detriment. Uh-huh. The lovers. The lovers is in reverse, though. Love don't live here anymore. There was too many, too many people in this picture, too many people in this scenario. The love is in the reverse. It's an unrequited love. If you love me, there's no room for nobody else. No room for no one else. You can't tell me that you love me. The moon. The moon. I've used my intuition to guide me through all of this bullshit. There's nothing you can hide from me. There's nothing that you can tell me. There's nothing that you can surprise me with that I don't already know. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like deep in her heart. She's heard the gossip. She's heard the rumors. She knows she's clinging on to some bullshit. She knows that this person is she she knows that this person has multiple lovers or that there is one lover where there is a complete, you know? This person knows that. She knows that there's more stuff here. Probably that she doesn't even know about it. She's aware of it. And that's why she's not forgiving and she's allowing her world to be changed by the divine. She's like, you know what? I'm not even going to fight with you no more, Father God. I had bear witness to what I'm doing to hold myself back. And I'm not stupid. And I know as long as I can walk through this with my head held high, it's not about what happens to you. It's about how you react to it. You understand what I'm saying? You can still walk away with your head held high. You don't have to keep forgiving someone and keep allowing someone to control you just because y'all got kids. No, 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 no. I don't forgive that anymore. You're not. I value my time and I value myself too much. I'm rejecting that. Let me realize what I'm doing to myself and move on permanently. It's a different world now. It's a different world than where you come from. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not when at the end of the game. Not when at the end of the game I can have everything that I've ever wanted. Uh-uh. Okay, so let's get into my couples and my singles, okay? Let's see what's going on with my single, Sagis. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Some of you guys are definitely divorcing and walking away from a situation where there's kids, where there's some level of commitment. And it don't necessarily mean that um, if you don't have kids, it could just mean that you're tired of treating this person like a fucking child. You understand what I'm saying? Like you're not their mother. You're, 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 they're not a child. You understand? No. Ooh. My singles, it says, fuck fear. It will lie to you in your face. Look, fuck fear. Don't be scared. I feel like these are the ones that are moving into being single. You know what I'm saying? And 
ever breaking up and you're about to become single, don't be scared. Fuck fear. And for the ones that are single currently, don't be scared to put yourself out there. Like I said, if you can't go right to the top, find somewhere else to go. Find your lane, okay? It says don't believe the shitty thoughts that you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. You understand? Make sure that you recognize fear for what it is and don't allow it to give it power in your life. It says reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Okay? Reevaluate or change your perspective or fucking quit. And then it says shit is going down with your job. Okay? Hmm. My kids is in the back arguing. Y'all forgive me. Y'all not forgive me. Y'all excuse them. But yeah. I feel like. I don't necessarily feel like it's. It could be something going on at your job with some of y'all. But I just feel like y'all need to reevaluate the way that y'all are letting y'all mind work. And the way that you are letting your thoughts. Uh, the way you are allowing your thoughts to kind of control certain things. And you know what I'm saying? You just need to have more a positive uh, mindset. You know what I'm saying? And if whatever it is that you're dealing with. And even in love. You understand what I'm saying? If you can't change your perspective. And have a more positive perspe perspective on it. So you can get a more positive outcome. Then just fucking like don't do it. You understand what I'm saying? And that means you're not ready for it. That must mean you're not ready to date. If like... Every time you're about to go out, only thing you can think of is negative shit. Before you even get out of the door, just don't even put your energy into it. But you got to also recognize that it's just fear. Fuck fear. It'll lie to you in your face every time because it's like you're allowing your fears to not allow you to make it out of the door. But if you're going to allow your fears and your worries and your thoughts and shit like that to fuck with you that much, then fuck it. Sit the fuck down. You understand what I'm saying? But only realize that you're holding yourself back. You understand? I feel like that's for someone that's, ooh, the magician. Listen, you hold a lot of power within your hands. I really don't even think that you realize how powerful and how magnificent and how creative and how much energy that you have and that you control and that if you just use it positively, listen, every thought that you have in your brain it is a petition to the universe. So if the only thing you're thinking is negative things, man, I can't go nowhere because I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. You're going to stay broke. If you change the way that you think about this shit, I've been faking it till I make it. These motherfuckers ain't trying to, listen, they just nominating me. They ain't trying to give me no award. So fuck this Lane, you understand? I don't want to be a singer no more. Fuck it. I'm funny. I'm about to go do some acting shit. And I'm about to do that. And I'm about to twist that acting shit. I'm about to throw my singing in there too. And I'm going to bang it like that. Okay? You got to be a magician. You It's about the way that you think. You understand what I'm saying? Because once you change your position and your role and your thinking, anything, you can make anyone bend to your will. Anything. It's about you not letting fear control you and you realizing that the power and the strength that you have in yourself and your body. What is this? The Knight of Cups. Listen. Love is coming to you if you want it. If you are calling it into your life. And the only way you're going to call it into your life is if you believe it within yourself and you know. Listen. I tried my best in this situation here. That shit ain't work. But honey, too, trust someone's coming for me <laughs> and walk out the door and walk it like you talk it every day. Every day, walk it like you talk it. Walk, it, uh, walk out that door every day like today could be my moment. Any day someone come and roll up on me and I get to hop up on this horse like... <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? You got to carry that energy. But if you let in fear get in your head, this is what I'm also seeing too. I'm seeing someone that you want a relationship and shit, with, but when someone come holler to you or come try to talk to you, you won't even look up and you shy and all that stuff. You're not going to get what you want if you're carrying that type of energy, baby. You're not going to get what you want if you're carrying that kind of energy. You got to believe it. You got to know it. You got to show it within yourself. You understand what I'm saying? 
You got to take control of that energy. You got to be reborn. You got to be renewed. You got to be that magician. You got to call it to you. You got to be it yourself in order to want it, in order to call it to yourself. Do you love yourself that much for someone to love you that much? Do you understand what I'm saying? Give me guidance. What's coming in love for my single sages? What is this? Is this great fortune? The great fortune card. All right. Great fortune and newness. And rebirth is being poured on to you. Those are golden flowers. Y'all might see a lot of yellow flowers in your path. If you see that, just every time you see them yellow flowers, be like, uh-huh, yes, victory is here, honey. <laughs> victory is here. Listen, there ain't nothing but golden flowers. Golden flowers and a mature man. Listen, great fortune is coming your way. Great fortune in the form of a mature man, an older man, a wise man. It's about change within yourself. Listen, that there, that number five, that's change. That's change. One more. Give me one more for my singles, please. Let me guide us about this great fortune and this mature man. What is this? Oh, courtship. Listen, please change your mindset and your thinking because you are repelling. You are not using your powers in the right way with negative thinking and believing and trusting in that fear. Once you use your powers and you realize that your thoughts and the things that you feed yourself with your brain is literally a petition to the universe. You keep feeding yourself bullshit. You're going to keep getting bullshit, baby. Once you change your thinking and you use your power in the right way, honey, you go, girl, listen, come on now. Come on. You're going to be very fortunate for it. Come on. And it says trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Once you accept and trust, listen, let me change my mindset. And let me just get a little bit more control of my thoughts. And stop putting my energy this way and put my energy that way. Because I know I'm going to fucking win. Do you understand what I'm saying? I know. I know without a shadow of a doubt. Everything in my heart that I'm going to win if I go this way. Just put your energy in the right way. All right, you guys, let's get into the couples, my Saggies, and then we about it, y'all. All right, let me see. You guys, for my, my couples. And again, never trust cures from systems. That once made you sick. When love is no longer on the menu. Do not eat. There's nothing more beautiful than speaking truth to power. That's on this side for you guys. It says, keep shit clean. Gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck. Ooh. Someone need a clean house. Someone need to clean up their house. What is this saying? It says, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Still love you, though. XOXO. Shut the fuck up. Ooh! <laughs> Father God, in the name of Jesus, these cards. Y'all don't get mad at me. I ain't the one that said that you ain't clean up your motherfucking bathroom. Shit. That's what fucking spirit is trying to tell you to clean up your motherfucking bathroom and and whatever the fuck you saying. You don't know what the fuck you talking about, but spirit still love you, though. You need to shut the fuck up and listen to reason. It sounds like. And then it says homemade food is for play. I feel like someone is not cooking. They're not cleaning. They're not taking care of their home. It says homemade food is for play. Cook a fucking meal. Oh, my God. Spirit is ripping into your ass. And it says, leave some shit to the imagination. Don't let it all hang out. Mmm. What the fuck is going on over here with the couple of sections? All right, yes. I feel like someone's been posting, like, number one, you're not keeping the house clean. The bathroom is nasty. You're not cooking. But you online all the time. 
either looking at bitches that is post half naked or like you thirst trapping and putting like pictures of your titties and putting like I don't know like it's um hot outside so like I don't know maybe you posting some pictures of some shit in your bathing suit or some shit and like that's not cool and this person is like you doing all of that shit like that you letting all your shit hang out like that but you need to be you you got some shit that you need to be doing in this house you know what I'm saying and you always running your mouth but you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about you need to shut the fuck up well, all due love and respect, though, but you need to shut the fuck up. Like, no, I'm sorry, y'all. These cards is going the fuck off right now. Seriously. Somebody partner is laying into their ass. Oh, my God. They saying you don't cook. You don't clean. You be on the internet thotting. What? You be trying to argue all the motherfucking time and don't know what the fuck you talking about? What? Sag, I know y'all going off in the comments. Like, who the fuck is this nigga thinking? Who the fuck this nigga talking to, y'all? Ooh, 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 ooh. Excuse you. Oh, the devil. Ooh, Lord. Mmm. Mmm. It's like addicted to toxic fucking bullshit. And I heard love and hip hop. Like, ooh. The four cups in reverse. This person. <laughs> Bro. This person just feels like. This relationship is toxic. And they're just like. Okay what is this. The ace of pentacles in reverse. They feel like this shit is just going nowhere. They feel like it's a very toxic connection. A four cups in the reverse. They're tired of going online looking and trying to see who you fucking and what you doing and shit like that. I feel like someone kind of let their self go and kind of stop cooking and cleaning and shit like that. Because the person that they're with be looking at people online. People that don't believe in shit to the imagination. People that be letting it all hang out. So they said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to put my energy into this house. This house is not a home. I'm not coming home and cooking and cleaning for a motherfucker that be all out there in the street doing whatever the fuck he want to do or whatever she want to do. You understand? I This was someone who, I guess, was drunk in love and was addicted to the drama, but they sober up now. And they realize, like, this is a long road to nowhere. You understand? And this person is not going to put the same effort and the same work and the energy in that they're putting into the relationship. So they stop putting that shit in there. So it's like, don't come talking this shit to me about, oh, homemade food is for play. And you know what I'm saying? That you need to clean up the fucking house and the bathroom and shit. Why should I clean up after a dirty ass motherfucker that's doing me dirty? I clean up my shit. I worry about me. You need to worry about you. Like, I really do. You know, and then there's the other argument that the person that's been doing the cheating and the carrying on, they feel like their spouse is out there thotting. And they're like, okay, but ain't you out here thotting? Ain't you out here thotting? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. Fuck you. Fuck this house. You understand? Like, that's this right here. And someone like that just gave the fuck up. And it's like, I understand why they gave up. And it's like, they're tired of seeing their house dirty and shit like that too. But it's like, bitch, I left my shit dirty hoping that you wouldn't just fucking come home one day, you fucking nasty, dirty dick bitch. Like, that's literally what I'm getting. Like, oh my God. Because this motherfucker's like, bitch, when I clean house, I'm cleaning the house. And I'm getting the fuck away from you. Like permanently. When I clean house, I'm coming up in here with some divorce papers to clean house to get you up out my out my hair indefinitely. Give me some more energy right here, y'all. Cause I'm sorry. I need to give me some more on this devil. The four cups in reverse. And and I want you to pay attention to this four cups in reverse. This person got tired of looking and trying to figure out what you were doing, where you were going, who you was fucking. They're not stuck in that illusion no more. Like, they, uh-uh. They ain't drunk in love no more. 
okay but there's still toxicity there's still what is this there's still love there with the two of cups there this person is not drunk in the illusion but they still love you though because i mean i'm trying to tell you there's still that addiction and still that that's that that y'all are still bound to each other and y'all still be having sex with each other <laughs> what the fuck like how y'all treat each other and talk to each other like that, but y'all still love each other. Y'all still having sex with each other, but someone is having a full blown affair and just doing whatever the fuck the hell they goddamn want to. What is this? The seven of spades. Yeah. And then the chariot in reverse. And then this is the moon. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, the seven of sports. Like this person is like, a mani uh, this person will lie, cheat, rob, steal, or kill to do whatever to get away with what they're doing. Like this person, as long as they can come in and out of this house whenever they please, they're going to tell you whatever the fuck. It's just a mind fuck. It's a mind trick. This person is a trickster. They're a liar. They're a manipulator. They. It's all about them being able to access and being able to maintain their existence in this house do you understand what i'm saying they do it by sex they do, they do it because they know that you love them and they know that you're still addicted to them and you're still attached to them but they see that you're slowly starting to reject them and wake up and that you're no longer enthused by all of the drama and you're starting to stop chase them and this is um you know I still feel like they're kind of getting away with being able to sneak in and out of this house whenever they please. But there's the chariot in the reverse here. I, I feel like someone might be having some type of car trouble. So there might be some. I feel like the last time this person got away. They might not be able to come back because there's some type of issue with their communication i mean yeah i mean not issue with their communication oh there might have been issue with their communication i feel like they were most definitely wherever whatever they were doing whatever they were saying whatever game that they were playing on you before where they were just easily able to Maneuver in and out with this chariot in reverse. There was a stop to it because someone got caught with this moon here. Do you see what I'm saying? You see how this woman is trying to shoo someone out of the house from out of the window. Like this person was being sneaky and they're getting caught up. You understand? Their whole manipulation was them being able to gain access to this house and being able, like I said, to sniff around and come in and out of this house and gain access whenever the fuck they wanted to. But their transportation is broke. You understand? Their transportation is broke. They're not able to maneuver the way that they were anymore because someone is getting caught. Someone is getting caught in a place that they shouldn't be doing something that they shouldn't be doing. This person controls you and controls other with sex and mental manipulation and games. This person might even get caught being in some woman's house that they're not supposed to be in. And you may find out about that. Their transportation might break down. Something about somebody's car, somebody's transportation is going to break. Someone's going to have some issues with some car trouble. And with that Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, they're not going to have any money as well. And they're going to call on you. Because they know that they can come in and out as they please. They feel with this devil card, they they got you in your grips. You're going to do whatever the fuck. Mm. Lord, this should... I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Let me guide us about this couple. Let me guide us about this moon. Let me guide us about this devil. This ace of pentacles in the reverse. The two of cups in the upright. This is just toxic and just fucked up. Thoughts. This Sagittarius has been trying to paint this perfect picture 
about this person. They've been trying to put this person in this role as an official person. You know? Toxic addictions, illusions, mind games, manipulations. I feel like this person tries to play that stuff off like they're the, yeah, like they're the official person and you're the privileged lady. But they're secrets. There's mind games. There's manipulations. Wealthy man. False person. Hmm. Unexpected income. Yeah, it's like... Okay. This is the game. This is the game. So this person... This person goes around and plays this game with people. Where they put these thoughts in their heads and they... Try to paint this perfect picture and this illusion. This is their devil energy here. They try to paint this perfect picture and this illusion. Like they're the official person and you're the privileged lady. Do you understand what I'm saying? That together, you know what I'm saying? Together. And with his abilities and his skills and his knowledge and his vast, you know, with his knowledge, you see the books and, you know, his ability. I don't know if he does mechanical work. I don't know engineering. I don't know what the fuck it is that he does. You know what I'm saying? His analytics. This person puts their self off in, in, in his highest stature and puts you in his place of high stature where they feel like that you would be better with them. You understand what I'm saying? That they bring a certain level of richness and wealth to you and your environment and the situation. But this whole time, this person is a false person. Not only that, that they have other people that they sell this same lie and this bullshit to. Because at the end of the day, only thing they're trying to do is manipulate you out of taking care of them. Or trying to become a wealthy man off of you. Like living off of you and being able to do Whatever it is that they want to do. Like this person wears a disguise. This person wears a mask. But this thoughts, this person plays mind games and paints this picture of illusion in your head of this. All the while, this person is making themselves seem like they're wealthy and they're good. And they're not at all. It's a complete mask because they're looking for you to give more than they will ever give. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. It's all a game. That's that devil energy. That's what they do. That's what it's about. That's what it's about. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let's get... um. Let's get a love card. It says, surrender. It says, at times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our life. Let go and all will work out. You need to surrender. I really do feel like you need to open up your eyes and see this situation for what it is. Because for you to even let yourself go to the point where you not taking care of your home and stuff the way that you normally would and it's not because you're you're being a nasty or neglectful person it's just like i'm not cleaning up i'm not you know what i'm saying for what for him like fuck him or fuck her you know what i'm saying like that's like the energy give me guidance give me guidance um how does the sagittarius feel how does the sagittarius feel in this situation It says, I see a little part of you and everyone I meet. Hmm. You know why? It's like, because you have to surrender. That's why. It's like, you got to surrender this connection. You got to let this go. Until you completely release this and let this go, you're going to see people. It's going to be the same shit, different toilet. Like, you have to release 
this, you still feel like you're bound. You still feel like this person has a hold and a grip on you. That's why you can't see past this. That's why everything and everywhere you go, everyone you see, you see this situation. It's because you're still allowing it to hold on to you. That's why you see a little bit of this person and everyone you meet. You have to let go. It says, I don't think I can take your reaction right now. It also says, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. I miss the feel of you next to me. And you are never far from my mind. So this Sagittarius is just, I feel like there is, there's no communication. You guys could even be living in the same house with each other and y'all are not communicating with each other. It's just, that's why this person isn't cooking. That's why this person isn't cleaning. That's why this person isn't being attentive because this person could feel this false energy. They could feel this falsehood. It doesn't matter how much of a per perfect picture this person tries to paint. It's like slowly but surely Sagittarius is surrendering to the fact that they know that this person is wearing a mask with them. And the only reason why they're still together is because they're codependent. Because they need each other for financial reasons, it seems like to me. There's most definitely a third party here. Let's see what this other person has to say. What does the person dating Sagittarius have to say towards Sagittarius? It says, I need to go my own way for a while. I feel a special bond with you that I've never felt before. But they need to go their own way. Seems like we just need to surrender. And it seems like Sagittarius is surrendering anyway because this person, this person knows what they've done. And at the end of the day, this person has done this to Sagittarius before. And Sagittarius know from last time, I faked it until I made it, you know. But I learned to never trust cures from systems that once made you sick. When love is no longer on the menu, don't eat. It's easy to fool yourself, but it's hard to fool an audience. If you can't go right to the top, find somewhere else to go. There is nothing more beautiful than speaking the truth to power. Sagittarius, this has been y'all's reading. This has most definitely been y'all's reading. Y'all standing in y'all power. Y'all shutting shit down and y'all are surrendering to this. Y'all not even trying to fight with this shit no more. Y'all not fighting with this shit no more. And for my singles, like I said, if you're not ready to date, it's cool. You don't have to be ready to date right now. You understand what I'm saying? But understand... That love, this magician power, and this ace of cups right here, baby. Is this the knight? Oh, no, this is the fucking knight of cups, bitch. This is the fucking knight of cups, bitch. Somebody is really coming to get you. Get your mind together and use your powers in the correct way. If you keep telling the world you ain't ready and you uh, sob story, sad shit, you being a victim, you're going to keep being the victim of your own fucking demise and your own thinking. Change your thinking because a good man is coming to you. Listen. Look, shit is going down with your job. Your job meaning you. The job that you got to do with fixing yourself. Shit is going down. Don't believe every shitty thought that you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. Fuck fear. Fuck fear. It says it will lie to you in your face. Reevaluate, change your perspective or just fucking quit. Either you want to do this to get here or not. Do you understand? Once you do that shit, great fortune is coming to you. Great fortune in the form of a mature man and a beautiful courtship. Trust, baby. Trust. Use your magic. I love you. Peace.